loaded into a flour tortilla and grilled for maximum portability. For classic Taco Bell tastes that are good to go, think outside the bun. The following program deals with mature subject matter not appropriate for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. The growth process was tough. I knew I wanted the dog. I knew I, the way to get the dog was to grow on the toe. There was challenges when you have a dog growing on your toe. People always say you're supposed to sing to your baby before they're born. You know, and it's actually, I've read a lot about, you know, when you talk and sing to plants even, who aren't even considered alive, that it helps them grow. So yeah, I, I'll admit it that I, uh, I sang to my, I sang, I sang to my boy who was growing on my toe, my dog, uh, Stuart. Um, I sang, I, you know, you'd bathe them gently, gently, because he wasn't ready to, to be born yet. But Evan's questions were soon to become answered, for this was not a strange occurrence in another small pocket of the earth. Iran, home to some of the greatest surgeons working today. Constantly progressing medical and scientific technology into the future. Brilliant scientists like Dr. John S. Peterson. I immediately recognized the subject's condition as dog foot, part of a related series of conditions known as mammal feet. I was gladly obliged to offer Mr. Kerrigan my services to separate both him and his dog. So today's the big day. Um, I have my appointment ticket. Uh, I'm just getting ready to leave. The uh, the boy here is. Um, I can feel him squirming. <laughs> he's he's uh, he's definitely ready to get off my foot and start his life. Um, I think I'm I'm looking forward to it. I mean I'm excited. I'm a little nervous to be honest, but. I think that once it's done and over with, I'll be very happy, he'll be happy, we'll, well, we'll be happy. Uh, so yeah, off I go. Uh, I'll see you on the other side. The surgery itself was it, it was it was great. I have to say, uh, Dr. Peterson, he um, he really did a great job. There was no complications. The surgery was a success. Separation was easy. Mr. Kerrigan was done and sent home the same day to await the return of his dog in a few short months. While his dog fetus was grown in Iran, at home, Evan began to realize the psychological and mental effects of the separation. I, I never really knew what kind of effect it would have on my body. I, uh, um, I guess I, I could say I was eating for two, spending so much on groceries, you don't have a lot of money to socialize and interact with the general public. Being left behind, you know, nights out with friends. I'm home just watching the little fellow grow. Uh, so that was hard. I guess it's where my uh, addiction to the to video games came into play was you have a dog growing on your toe, you become, you become a shut-in. Um, you know, I, I just can't stop playing. It's 
been eight weeks now, though, again, so uh, we're going on to, uh, well, starting month five, four months done and gone, this whole ordeal, and I'm just uh, anxiously awaiting. He should be um, coming home any time now today. It's been, uh, I mean, I've said this before, I've said it so many times, it's been such a great journey. Challenging, but great, you know, building my, you know, me as a person and finding out a lot more about myself, but I th I'm a little bit nervous of him coming home. I just want to get him home and comfortable and starting our new life together, so that's what I'm focused on right now and trying to take my mind off it by reading, you know, until the door knocks, so anyway, yeah. Stuart? Stuart! Come to daddy! Come, come, Stu! Come on, boy! The only way I can describe it was just this overwhelming feeling of just great joy. The bottom line is that no, I didn't meet the courier boy. I don't know who delivered him. I know where he came from, but he's here and he's mine and he's okay. And I love him. I love him. I still spend a lot of time at home. I guess I never really got back to going out a lot. Uh, but that's okay, you know, because I have Stuart now, so. We hang out and keep each other company. You know, when it comes down to it, I know in my heart that I'm not missing out. I know that they're missing out. And Stuart and I are happier together with just each other. So it really works out all for the better, I guess. It's all for the better.